evidence to inform a sustainable model of childhood cancer survivor care within our own health system to optimize the quality of life for individuals like this young woman. We started with evidence generation to comprehensively and accurately identify long-term risks and predictors of those risks and survivor care that met quality standards. And in this case, we mean well, it's care that's not only appropriate and evidence-based, but also accessible, timely, reaches vulnerable groups, and is patient-centered. For this research, we identified a population-based cohort and population-based comparison group, linked those records to person-specific, longitudinal validated data on risk factors and outcomes augmented by qualitative information from the survivors themselves and care providers. A third, a third uh, aim of this research program was to share that information with decision makers to make a difference in policy and practice. We called our program PIACS. It recruited all BC residents diagnosed with a cancer under the age of 25 years from 1970, surviving five years or more from diagnosis. Our first objective was to develop a linked data resource for this research. Our second objective was to determine risks of late occurring and long-term problems in various domains, including health, education, and, and employment and income, and the predictors of those risks. The third objective of the program was to examine the patterns and quality of health care, of care in particular